this different day. Today I'm not at the workshop, today we're going a tour. And that's what the cars are made for. As you can see, this is our beloved 2 plus 2. But you see it's a bit loaded already. That is because we're going on an unknown trip. Might take three weeks, might take four weeks, we don't know. We only have the first destination at the moment. And um, I'm starting this video blog for you to see something about um, Europe and uh, to show you that traveling with a classic car is still a highlight. To check the, the weather conditions, as uh, it's pretty good for traveling. It is, and, and you can see here, it is uh, in Osnabrück, that's where we are starting. It is 23 degrees and is uh, covered. That's slightly cloudy and uh, it will be all good. And just showing yes, just for the books, the, mile, the mileage we have actually kilometers is 15,575. So that's where we start. I did some, I did the pedal yesterday, the daily trip is seven kilometers now. And um, well, that is the starting conditions. Starting now with 15,982 and uh, just for the record and let's see where we we expecting about 200 kilometers today. the sign and this has been a problem actually during COVID because in France the rules were abandoned and in Germany the rules were still active so the train coming from and back to France and Germany for workers they had to change during the trip they had to change the mask or to put a mask on uh, being in the same cabin actually but uh, well that's, that's the rules so Europe is not all one country, it is different countries with different laws and this is actually now the um, border river. Bonjour en France. And now we have another 80 kilometers to go to reach our first um, accommodation abroad. The background is we we had the idea to do a trip with the E-Type along the southern European countries and the south sides of the Alps and of course Owen is from UK and I'm from Germany so we had to meet up somewhere on the way in the middle 
and that was uh, Strasbourg. So well, up to there we had to do our own ways and um, my trip is on the video but you can you explain how and when you started what you experienced yeah we uh, from as you say from the uk and we uh, we uh, began um, our house on the essex suffolk border and we traveled down through very heavy rain uh, on the sunday and uh, traveled through down to the shuttle which is near folkestone in kent um, we stayed there overnight again very heavy storms uh, overnight, and then we got the shuttle early in the morning, on the uh, on the Monday morning. There was a train instead of the ferry. Uh, correct. Yeah, so you drive onto the train, and it just you stay with your car, <coughs> and then you get off uh, near Calais. And that early that morning, we travelled down through France, um, a little bit cloudy, but but then gradually improved. Um, had the roof off and travel down into the Champagne region. But that is Europe now, with the roof off. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Just cruised through the, through the little uh, few auto routes, but we did some nice country roads also. And then we went down and stayed there first night in Epinay, uh, in France, and um, there was at, uh, a Champagne house uh, in the Grand Parade there. Um, wonderful accommodation. Um, and the car behaved very well and uh, just cruised and purred through the countryside. And then we got up uh, the next morning and headed on down to, to Strasbourg to you, which I guess has taken us approximately from home, um, close 950 miles, maybe 900, 950. You made the way all the way down from UK and we are now staying here in this nice, uh, nice uh, mod. And this is, we are somewhere near Strasbourg and um, well, we found this nice place here, very quiet, and that's what we wanted. A safe place for the cars and something cosy. So, today, the third day on this tour. No, wait, we left. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, we have now on the clock, we have 646 kilometers. The total is 16,215 with this car. And, uh, yeah, we're just we're just about um, catching the bus from Wasserlosen, and uh, the reason for this is that we don't want to Wasserland. go Wasserland. Excuse me, Wasserland. The postcode is six seven three one zero, and it is a lot of countryside farming around here. It's very quiet, relaxing, and um, and now we are heading to Strasbourg which is um, the capital of the European Parliament and they, um, they have all the old buildings still, still in perfect condition and we tried to get some local typical food and I think it's worth the trip What is that? Polly, what are you having? You share, share. Yeah, it's, it's to share, to share. Are they said potatoes? No, cheese. Cheese. Formage. 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 
Enjoy. Enjoy your meal. Zero zero one one, which is um, very early outside lock car, which was a press car, um, and yeah, it's got all the, the the basic standard equipment on the car, not not been modified in any way, um, <coughs> apart from the, the heater fan, which is um, is to give us a bit a bit more air through the uh, cockpit. We've done many, many miles in that car over the years, so I think you just gain confidence. The more you use it, maybe shorter trips initially, you know, longer and longer. And yeah, we've been all over, all over Europe. We've been all, all around the UK, or Ireland, Northern Ireland, Southern Ireland, up in Scotland, in the hills. It performs very well. Obviously, you have to maintain the car and often do things to it, but take some spares and yeah. you can generally achieve what you set out to achieve.